we will implement a gamma scalping trading strategy. To solve this negative theta problem, this would be our primary learning objective in this video lecture. The name, gamma scalping comes from two different concepts. Scalping means, repeatedly buying and selling stocks, with the goal of obtaining daily profits. This is something the day traders generally do in the markets. But therein lies a major question, that is, whether to buy, or sell, and, how much, to buy or sell. Holding, a long gamma position answers these questions. Hence the name, gamma scalping. Let us have a look as to how this is done. As discussed in the previous video, we would create a, delta hedged portfolio with, long ATM call options, and, a short position in the underlying stock. If the underlying moves in either direction, the delta hedged portfolio would be profitable, since, it is indifferent to change in the price. We had seen this in the previous video. But, what if the stock opens at $50 as shown, increases or decreases to either $52 or $48, and, before the market closes, goes back to $50? One would like to believe, that, we have neither made a profit, nor, a, loss. But, that is not the case. We have made a loss, equivalent to, the total theta position, in our portfolio. Hence, we have a long gamma, long vega, view of our portfolio, and the risk we would be facing holding the long call would be, the theta loss, since, the long call theta is negative. To overcome this theta loss, we would be performing, gamma scalping. The strategy would be as follows. At all the steps, we would aim, to keep the portfolio delta neutral, as learned above. 1. If the underlying falls, buy the stock, to keep it delta neutral. 2. If the underlying rises, sell the stock, to keep it delta neutral. Let us understand this, with the help of an example. Remember that, the Greek values are just representative, to help you understand the concept. Scenario 1. When the underlying stock XYZ, is at $50. You may buy 10 ATM calls of XYZ, at 0.5 delta, 0.1 gamma, and, minus 0.12 theta. The total delta, of this position is, plus 500. To delta hedge this, you short 500 shares of XYZ stock, at $50. The total delta of this short position is, minus 500. Scenario 2. 10 minutes later, XYZ drops to $49. The new delta is now 0.4, the new gamma is 0.09, and, the theta is minus 0.12. To maintain your delta hedge, now, you need to be short on 400 XYZ stocks. Hence, you buy back 100 XYZ at $49, thus pocketing a profit of $100. This is your first scalp. Scenario 3. 10 minutes later, XYZ drops to $48. The new delta is now 0.31, the new gamma is 0.08, and, the theta is minus 0.12. To maintain your delta hedge, now, you need to be short 310 XYZ stocks. Hence, you buy back 90 XYZ at $48, thus pocketing a profit of $180. This is your second scalp. Scenario 4. Now, the price rises to $50 from $48. The delta goes back to 0.5, and the gamma to 0.1. To maintain a delta hedge position, you need to be short, on a total of 500 stocks. Hence, you short sell 190 more shares of XYZ, at $50. Now you have made room for future scalps. If we had not gamma scalped, then at the end of the day, we would have lost the theta position of our portfolio, which is minus 0.12, multiplied by the 10 ATM calls bought, of lot size 100. We would have made a loss of $120. Overall, if we combine everything we have learned, then, by scalping, you are actually profiting on the oscillations, that the stock price shows, to cover your theta loss. This theta loss, is on an already dealt neutral portfolio, which is indifferent to change in direction, and can profit if the price goes either way. This is how we trade using Gamma. 
This is mainly an intraday trading strategy, done by professional traders, as theta loss and transaction costs both have to be managed. Traders, try to cover the daily theta loss of a delta neutral portfolio, in an above-discussed manner, by scalping.